see the historic events of the next few weeks through expert eyes. A special one-hour briefing by ABC science editor Jules Bergman on the upcoming U.S.-Soviet space mission, Union in Space. Next, here on ABC. It's the lemon, it's the lime, it's the sugar-free, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Sugar-Free 7-Up is now the fastest growing soft drink in America, and you did it. Of course, the fact it tastes so good may have helped a little. My mother thanks you, my father thanks you, we all thank you. And when you order a hamburger, try a Sugar-Free 7-Up and see why it's America's fastest growing soft drink. You'll thank me too. Put the very best ingredients all together with 99 years of brewing skill and dedication to quality, and you've got what we think is the best tasting beer you can buy. And put Olympia together with a great day of fun, and you've got the best of everything. You know yourself the best beer in the land. Olympia. Beer doesn't get any better. Olympia Beer presents the fourth annual Oli Superbolo Motocross, Saturday, July 19th, with the most daring riders in the world. McCola, DeCoster, Aberg, and all the rest competing for top honors at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Be there. Dramatic Fire Rescue, film at 10.30. Apollo Soyuz, how do you read? Soyuz, Apollo, we switch leave, or a show. Okay, I understand you. Da, we switch leave, or a show. ABC News presents the joint Apollo-Soyuz test project, Union in Space. Brought to you by Western Union. The fastest way to get the word around. Mrs. Ruth Fenton of South Pasadena, California, is about to receive a birthday message from a married daughter in Philadelphia. But this year's birthday greeting is special. Good morning, Mrs. Fenton. Good morning, Art. Oh, a mayo brand. It's a greeting that came by way of Western Union's Westar, a communications satellite more than 22,000 miles in space. Yesterday afternoon, her daughter called Western Union and dictated a message. Next, Mrs. Fenton's mailgram bounced at the speed of light from coast to coast via Westar and arrived at her post office for delivery in this morning's mail. Westar can speed messages between points all over the country. Low-cost mailgrams, another way Western Union is the fastest way to get the word around. Good news, dear? Yes, Alex, the kids are coming west next month. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Figures. I don't have time to call all those people. Send a telex, have them reply the same way. Right. That scene's being repeated a lot these days as more businessmen find Western Union's telex and Twix networks a fast alternative to the phone, especially when they need to reach more than one person. Take telex. It isn't just fast. It can also be a lot cheaper than the phone. A three-minute call, Washington to San Francisco, costs $1.36. A 65-word telex message, just 60 cents. A call from Chicago to New York, $1.20. Telex, 30 cents. Philadelphia to Boston, $1.08. The telex, 18 cents. When you've got to get the word around fast, don't reach for the phone. Have your secretary send a telex or Twix. It's probably just down the hall. Western Union would like to give you a look at an office where new technology is moving our communication services right to the secretary's desk. This typewriter, for example, not only can type ordinary letters, but can send its own messages electronically. A simple switch connects this new communicating typewriter to the outside world through Western Union's information networks. Set the switch on Telex or Twix, for example, and within minutes, your message prints out at any of more than half a million teletypewriters in offices here and around the world, even at an office 8,000 miles away. Turn the switch again, and the same machine will let you send mailgrams to anyone in the continental United States and Canada for delivery in the next business day's mail. The communicating typewriter, another example of how, now and for the future, the fastest way to get the word around is Western Union. We 
have seen where both nations can go in space. The truly remarkable thing about ASTP is not what it will accomplish, which is minimal, but that it is at all, that it actually is happening, that two nations so politically different, two societies so long suspicious of one another, after three decades of confrontation in the Cold War, the Berlin Airlift, the Cuban Missile Crisis, the prolonged and continuing conflicts in the Middle East and Southeast Asia, that those two nations can put aside their earthly hostility and distrust to work toward a joint future in space. That's what ASTP is really all about. Can Russia and the U.S. work together toward future flights? No one is sure, but so far the answer seems to be yes, if this flight succeeds. This is Jules Bergman at Cape Canaveral. Union in Space has been brought to you by Western Union, the fastest way to get the word around. It's a brand new day on ABC, and we've got a new game show for you to see. To finish a rhyme, it takes a little time, but rewards are great if you don't hesitate. Rhyme and Reason, weekdays at 11. Take a word and stretch it, cut it, bend and blend it, but don't dare say it or that will end it. Join host Tom Kennedy in the new You Don't Say, weekdays at 12, here on ABC. This has been a presentation of ABC News.